Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a video today on my Engel ST90F. It's an upright 80 litre fridge freezer. It's in the van here and I'll give you a look at it. Okay, this is the fridge. Now she's cycling. She works very well. So yeah, I love the, the control on this fridge. There's no electronics in it. I simply have it on the highest setting. The drinks are just nice and chilled. They're really cold. That's just how I like them in the summer. Winter time, of course, I would drop it down to probably three and a half and I would see how it goes then. And this is the setting I used when I did the power consumption test further up in the video. The freezer is approximately, I'm just guessing, eight litres. We'll throw a bit of frozen stuff in there when we go on a trip. So down below the freezer, this is where I'll keep my ice cubes, right? Spot my ice cubes. In there and then I'll just go inside the fridge here. You've got two shelves, they're adjustable, so I pretty much have them where they are. It's the top shelf, and then you go down to the bottom one. The bottom one has this like a flip lid here, so you can actually put a two litre bottle of milk in. You generally, put two two litre bottles in there. There's a fair bit of room in it, yeah, it's been an 80 litre. You can get a bit bigger. I think you can get the 90 litre or the 100 litre, but there's no freezer on the fridge. That's why I went for this one, because this one had the, the um, it had the freezer. Where the bit bigger one, it was either all fridge or all freezer. Once you get into these upright fridges, you will not go back to a chest fridge. Um, I can well assure you, I, I can't go back to a chest fridge after having an upright fridge, that's for sure. Into the door. Got a couple of door shelves. And there's a top shelf on the door, and that's it. And that's all you got inside the fridge. For a family of three, it's good. It works well. It um, does everything we need. It's reliable. It's awesome. It's really good. It's got the latch on the door, the automatic latch. These doors can be either, this is how it was when I got it or you can actually take the door off and you can actually hinge it from this side if you don't like the door opening this way you can have it go on the opposite way all this front stuff is all interchangeable i'm just not going to worry about it i don't bother now simple to put in well, there's four brackets here and you can just screw it to the floor it's very simple there's two at the front and two at the rear the fridge and there are the brackets on the rear of the fridge if you're in tropical climates this is the fridge you need. I have this in here now three months and it's going very, very well. It's I'm really, really happy with it. The only thing with it, I find it a bit noisy at night when the compressor cycles, but it doesn't cycle for long. Even on the high setting, it'll cycle and then it turns off. So yeah, they're pretty good. They, they don't cycle that long. Okay, I'll give you a look at the back of the fridge now. now. You can put these in cabinets you can flush fit them against your cupboards you won't have any problems there's the compressor now these cooling lines here these are actually inside the walls of your cheap fridges that you get and that's why you've got to give them a bit of space up the sides of the cheaper fridges for the heat to dissipate because these are built into the walls but on the angles they're at the back now this angle was actually cheaper than the Dometic and also it was cheaper than the Bushman now they're up around the $1,500, $1,600 mark. It's just something you buy once and you cry once and pretty much you get what you pay for. Now these angles come, you got the 240 plug. I'm not using the 240. And I just thought I'd mention there's a fan as well. That just comes on when the fridge comes on and when the fridge cycles off, that turns off. So that's all built in with the fridge as well. Now, there's a cover on the back of the angle you take off, and there's two wires just sticking out. Now you can either hardwire the two wires, or you can just do what I did, put a um, Anderson connector on it, and that just goes to my fuse box with a 10 amp fuse. So yeah, very, very easy to put in and i've had angles before and i've never had a problem with them okay viewers now for the power consumption test on the angle 
Now I've got my Victron connected as a power supply mode. So that's supplying power to the angle Victron. fridge. Just connect straight up to my fridge. And that's how I measured the power. Okay guys, while the fridge has been cycling, I found it uses 2.7 amps. So in between 2.7 to 2.8. They do state 2.75. Okay, viewers, we're coming up to the end of the test here. It's very hot. Now, what we got? We have minus 14.9 in the freezer. We have 2.2 in the fridge. And we've got the temperature at 35.4 degrees. So it is very, very muggy. The minimum we got to overnight was 24. So it's been very, very hot. There we have 46.1 amp hours in 24 hours. Now I'll show you in the fridge. Right, I'll show you how full it was. Okay, it is full. It's chock a block, so I filled it right up. Now I'll show you the temperature setting. There it is there, it's on the five. There you see it, it is on full ball, it's flat out. And that's what I had it on all that time. So the freezer's full. See in the fridge it's saying sort of one degree back there, but back here it's it's not so yeah, it's a door. I had the sensor there in the door, so it actually could be colder in the fridge. It's zero down the bottom down there. But guys, the drinks are bloody cold, I'm telling you now. They are freezing. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're, they're really, really cold. Might even have a beer right now because it's perfect weather for a beer. It's not how it looks, guys. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> it's just I needed something to fill the fridge up with. So it used, used a bit of power, but you've got to think this was on full, flat-out setting. Okay, so this test obviously it was performed on the highest setting so you know cooler weather and less temperature setting you will get better results than what i um tested on this fridge but it's very very good on power compared to the cheap fridges it really is it chews nowhere near as much power as those cheap fridges because this is what you're paying for with angle you won't have any problems yeah so angle have been making fridges for years they are reliable I've had the older angles and they they just keep going and going. Good old Malcolm Douglas used to use them and he swore by them as well and so do I. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, see you later.